As a father in search of justice, Anthony Eze walked into TVC News headquarters in Lagos. He says May the 16th, 2022, started well for the family as he packed his son's school bag that morning before dropping off the five-year-old Chidera Eze at his school, the Redeemer's Nursery and Primary School on Acme Road, Oba area of Lagos. Exactly 10.52 a.m. I got a call from their head teacher, Mrs. Oladipo, that there was an accident involving my son. What I met was my son's lifeless body. I asked the doctor what happened. The doctor said he was brought in dead. That was when I now left and went straight to the police station. He raised questions that only the school authority can provide answers to. With no life jackets, and these are the things I provided. These are the things we provided for, for my son. And he had them in his bag. For whatever reason, I don't know why they, those things were, they, 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 they didn't use it. And are telling me it's an accident. But as the school reached out to the family? No. Though the State Criminal Investigation Department, Banti, has taken over the case, the Commission of Police gives an update on investigation. About seven people have been arrested, four teachers and uh, three instructors. They are being investigated for negligence. So, postmortem has been conducted and uh, thereafter, they will be arraigned in court. At the Ivory Health Club, we were told at the gates that the management has stopped operations in honor of the five-year-old. Likewise, the Redeemer's Nursery and Primary School are yet to reopen since the sad incident. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos. Ruptured pipelines and illegal refining activities often pollute the environment. Besides the damage to the ecosystem, there is much loss to the economy. At the premises of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps are three trucks and eight other vehicles laden with suspected illegally refined petroleum products. One woman called me, load product, say I drive the motor. As we do road, they come back. Uh, civil defense, who lost for road. I know it's a crime, but I'm from poor family, so I don't have money to feed. Uh, that's why I, I decided to drive the motor. That's my second time, sir. The people, they cook. They for what I say, now buy them. When they do, I'm in a condition. This one, not my business. Sir. Fifteen suspects were apprehended by personnel of the Commandant General's Special Intelligence Squad, who were offered the sum of 796,000 Naira as gratification to allow them to have their way. The Commandant General Special Intelligence Court visited Bayasa State in order to arrest and frustrate all criminal activities, whom specialized in vandalization of petroleum products and operating storage facilities at different locations within and outside the state. Let me also use this opportunity in assuring the general public of our unrelented commitment to the fight against oil theft oil bunkery and all activities of illegal dealings on petroleum products in the states. The suspects will be charged to court at the end of our investigation. The NSCDC also restated its mandate as regards zero tolerance to crude oil theft and sundry crimes depleting the economic reserve of Nigeria. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Yanagua. Operatives of Economic and Financial Crimes Commission surrounded the Maitama home of former Imo State Governor Rocha Zokorocha. They arrived at about 11 a.m. and demanded for Rocha Zokorocha, who was in the building. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission spokesman, Wilson Yawujarem released a statement stating the refusal of the former governor to appear before the High Court in Abuja on allegation of corruption to the tune of 2.9 billion naira has necessitated a recourse to this action. At about 6 p.m., the operatives forcefully gained entrance into the main house, firing shots and tear gas canisters. 
Rochas Okorucha was taken away in the vehicle of the EFCC operatives with an attempt by the former governor's staff to stop them. In the aftermath of the invasion, bullet holes, broken doors, a broken roof were some of the damage done. They couldn't open it, they now had to go inside. They could not open from here. They had to go in through the ceiling here, this way. Yes. Then they broke it okay. Okay. to come into the room mm -hmm. from here. When a man is granted bail, of course there are shorties to the bail. This, this particular issue was shorted by two senators. And these two senators, none of them have been asked to produce the person that was shorted. And this matter has been on. No sitting court has been approached that Rochers have jumped bail. None of the two senators have been approached that Rochers have jumped bail. The entire scene saw friends and families surrounding the compound of the former governor. In a statement it released, the commission had said given the circumstance, it had no other option than to effect the trial of the former Imo State governor. Habib Alawal, TVC News, Abuja.